Okay, I'm going to do a quick video this morning. Uh, you remember last week, I think it was around June uh, 10th, 11th, or 12th. It was sometimes last week. A lot of people was having problems with their phones. They couldn't get connection, uh, couldn't get LGT connection, couldn't make calls. But I'm going to show you what they were do, doing. Let's go to your settings. And if you go to settings, scroll down until you get to privacy. Privacy with this little hand here. You click on it, and once you go to privacy, you see this health right here, this little square with the heart in it. You click it. You see what they were doing was installing the COVID-19 exposure law. So anybody that has been uh, exposed with COVID-19, you can put your information in or maybe, it, but I'm going to read this to you. It says, when enabled, iPhone can ex exchange random IDs with other devices using Bluetooth. This enables the app to notify you if you may have been exposed to COVID-19. Exposure login cannot access any data in or add any data to the health app. So <laughs> they were installing this COVID-19. But you see mine is off. You can go here and click on it and you could turn it on. You cannot turn on exposure login without an authorized app installed and can send exposure notifications. So what you have to do is uh, turn this on. You want to down, you can download the app in the app store. It, it may be five or six different apps out there now. So I guess I, if anybody know how this thing work, when you turn it on, anybody that's been exposed to it, or if you're in the area that people have been exposed to, it'll send you a signal. But let's go back. Let's go to the app store. Okay, here we go. The app, and you just start typing in COVID. And you see all this stuff pop up, COVID-19 tracker. You click on it. And you can download these apps right here. This Apple COVID-19. You got the CDC. And I guess you can just log, download these and enter your information. It'll walk you through the process. But that is what was going on last week. I think that's what I people were saying. That they were downloading or updating these uh, apps and putting them on your phone but that's how you can go on your iphone and check it now your other phones i don't know i'm pretty sure somebody got videos on it all right thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel and thank you and have a great day